Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today is going to be caravan quickie number two and we're going to sneak this in uh, before it gets too dark because uh, it's starting to get a little bit late here. Um, but I wanted to show this to you. I picked this up during the week uh, and this is the three-step TXP squeezable ladder. Let's jump in and have a look. And this is probably more uh, for the caravan guys uh, that may be subscribed and following the channel. I've been checking these out on eBay uh, and been to the site and, and keeping an eye on these because I wanted a ladder for the caravan because uh, I'm only five foot four and sometimes when it comes to uh, reaching the awning or something along those lines or you know just checking the top of the caravan, uh, especially if I'm parked on a slope, I need the help of the ladder. Uh, with that in mind, I managed to pick up one of these second hand off Gumtree uh, and I want to give you a look at it. I know there's a, a very limited number of videos uh, that are around about these, uh, so I want to give you a quick look and obviously uh, after I've had a chance to, I guess, put it through its paces and, and use it around the caravan, I'll come back and let you know. But at the end of the day, it's a ladder uh, and I don't expect to be any issues with it. So uh, let's just have a quick look here. They do come in a bag, uh, as you can see here. Uh, the bag does have a handle, which is pretty nifty. Uh, now this is the three step one. Uh, I was actually looking at a four step or possibly even a five step. But in retrospect, I'm glad I actually went with a three because uh, this is going to be big enough, I think. They're pretty lightweight. Um, I will throw the specs up down the bottom uh, or on the screen here somewhere uh, so you can have a look, which will include the height and the weight of these things. It's a little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be for an aluminium. There is a little bit of a compromise, obviously, between weight and sturdiness. And having a look at this, I think they've reached sort of a good compromise. Uh, I think it's pretty reasonable. I'm taking the other bag and when packing it away, Put it in top first, so the feeder at the bottom. This goes in the bag a little bit easier because the top is pointy. Uh, so I'll just take her out. And you're gonna see, uh, this is the nice red anodized one. They do come in, I uh, believe, just a normal aluminium finish as well. Uh, but I really like the red one. I thought that looked pretty, pretty snazzy. Uh, as you can see, it's a small package. And the ladder itself, does have a couple of extra handles on it as well uh, for cartage. So if you can't find one with the bag, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can, you know, grab it by the handles here. I just wanted the bag because it's easier to store it when you throw it in, uh, in, a, in under the bed or in with something else. It's not going to get caught on everything else, and that, you know, gets you in trouble. Now the strap here is just a Velcro, uh, and it goes around the side of the ladder itself. So we'll just undo that, unclip it. To open up is pretty much what you'd expect from a standard ladder, in that you. Open it up along those lines, turn it sideways, and then pull it out. And uh, that's the magic of this ladder, really. Now these side sections, why they don't lock in place as such, there is no detent or anything to, I guess, hold them in place. It is just reliant on the fact that you've pushed it down and the legs are extended out. Now the caps on the top, uh, they're just a plastic, they just appear to be sort of a, a moulded plastic there on top. Uh, the ladder itself is fairly lightweight. When I first had a look at these sections here and I got the ladder and opened it up and started you know, uh, unfolding it, I was quite concerned about how thin these sections were. Uh, and you can see it's not the most rigid, uh, but when you do lock it in, it does lock in and become nice and solid. Uh, there is this piece here that goes all the way down to the bottom. And when you're closing it up, you basically just grab these tabs and lift that and that will pull all of those steps up and uh, start the folding process. I have found that you definitely need to get it sturdy and uh, I guess with all four feet on the ground and to sort of push it out to make sure it is uh, locked in. It takes just a little bit more extra attention that you probably would if it was just a standard ladder. Just to make sure that you've got everything locked out and pushed down uh, before you start climbing on it. It does say that it's capable of supporting 150 kilos uh, and there's obviously some other additional warnings here as well. Uh, instructions on the side here, you know, if you get stuck, if you can't figure this out you probably shouldn't be climbing on ladders anyway. Packing this up, uh, the one piece of advice I've got there as well uh, is these will sometimes slide out like that and you'll be wondering why you can't get it in the bag because this is sitting proud of the actual ladder itself. Just grab them, bend it back across and you'll, and you'll be able to get it back in the bag. And you'll see sometimes they go like that. So just easily movable, just grab them, flick them back in and packing it away, that strap just goes back around through the loop. Now pull that nice and tight 
because if you've got this just over the back of the car or somewhere like this, it rattles like an absolute mongrel. <laughs> so uh, tighten that Velcro up nice and tight. Again, do it upside down, take the top because it is uh, pointed. Goes back into that bag much easier than uh, trying to feed the feet in. Just watch these points uh, because they will overlap the bag and you can get caught on those. So just drop them in both sides and she just slides on in. And all up, that bag's a good fit. Uh, it's not too bulky, but it's not too tight either that you can't fit it back in. They're also made to fit into your tent pole holder. Uh, my tent pole holder is absolutely chockers with um, you know, the, the center spreader and stuff for the awning and whatever. So it's unlikely that this is gonna get in there. This is more than likely gonna get stuck under the bed, uh, which is where most of my storage is. Uh, but I'm pretty happy that this is not gonna take up all that space. But I did take this to work and show the guys who have caravans, uh, and I think they're all gonna go out and get one. Everybody's pretty happy with these and pretty impressed, especially with the color, love the red. The TXP ladder, uh, this is the three-stepper. They come in a four and a five. If you can grab one at the right price or if you're happy to pay full price, if it means a bit more to you than it did having a ladder than it does to me, uh, this was more just a little bonus. Uh, I, I can tend to climb around other things, uh, throw down a milk crate or something like that. Uh, but when I spotted this for basically half the price of what the retail is, uh, I grabbed it and uh, pretty happy with it. Thanks very much for coming along on this one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.